All right, from the KSAN Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brittany Lawrence with your weather update for your Sunday, June 13th. Hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday. It is a hot one. Reach triple digit mark today as we did yesterday. And we'll go ahead and show you how things played out here across Contra Valley. We rose up quickly into the 80s, 90s by 12 o'clock hour, and then continue to climb in temperatures into the 100 degree mark around 630 that's where we currently are right now last night was a warmer night got down to roughly around 72 degrees and just skyrocket through the 90s we went after the 10 o'clock hour so again we felt the heat early on if you went to go exercise early in the morning and still seeing triple digits here and in robert lee 99 in sterling city 99 in ozona and a little cooler out to the eastern part of the contra valley like in eden melvin and brady where they're in the mid to lower 90s expect that trend to continue as we continue to go into the rest of the summer here summer has not even officially started and we are still seeing triple digits currently and this is what it feels like it feels like 90 here but in Robert Lee where it's 100 degrees it feels like 102 everywhere else is a little cooler depending on the degree Mark Barnhart is feeling like 95 95 in Ozona even though they're at 99 so again some humidity mixed in with that temperature value here and that's what makes things feel even hotter and it's hot all across Texas somewhere no matter if you have family across the Lone Star State or not they're feeling the heat as well Amarillo is sitting cooler they got some rain the other day so they've been sitting cooler than everyone else in the upper 80s but again that could change the Texas Texas not in triple digits this weekend but definitely sitting at 99 near the triple digit mark today and everywhere else is in the upper to low 90s all across the board across Texas now here's what's going on looking across the nation here again that stationary front has shifted a little closer to the east but seeing some severe thunderstorms warnings and watches in the Mississippi and that outflow boundaries is pushing all of that moisture where that um, low pressure system is sitting right off the coast of Florida is just wrapping in that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and getting some severe storms in portions of Louisiana and also the Gulf Coast now we also have some thunderstorms pop popping up in the New Mexico area as well as we take a closer look to see exactly what's going on here I believe this is exactly where that stationary front is still troughing here a troughing axis here getting some lifting here out in the mountains in New Mexico again something that happens often there they've been getting some severe thunderstorms since yesterday and again now let's take a close look over our region nothing's going on currently right now but we'll just be watching for those storms off to our west because as you can kind of see that high pressure is pretty much providing clockwise flow so that outflow boundaries continue to move these storms further to the southeast and instead of going more of the northwest or southwest direction again with that being said that outflow boundary could spark some storms through the panhandle like it did yesterday and move into our area again we'll continue to watch that going into the hours tonight but this is what your evening looks like it's going to be mostly clear by the time we get to the nighttime but for right now you can expect 90s until 8 p.m and then drop off into the 80s before 11 p.m. So it's going to be quite warm out. But tonight, we'll eventually get back to where we were last night in the lower 70s. Some areas a little lower than that, upper 60s. And then tomorrow, uh, not a, another hot day for most of the Contra Valley. Seeing upper 90s expected here, but low to mid 90s expected everywhere else. Because that high pressure will continue to move off to the west more than Arizona and California. And that's why we could see a chance to see some storms overnight tonight. Again, with that outflow boundary being ahead of that as well. So again, if you want to find more information on what you can expect, it's going to be hot next week. And you want to know how hot it's going to be. Is it going to be triple digits or is it going to be upper 90s? You got to tune in to KSAN News at 10 where I give you all those details. And I'll tell you how some tips to keep cool throughout the summer and have some activities so you just want to tune in for then thank you for tuning in for this weather update and have a good day and be blessed